What? Between one and five percent? Holy... Straight up, when it comes to the world of videography and photography, there are some hard truths to get over. The biggest one, and the one that I still struggle with, is the 5% rule. So it goes something like, you need to shoot way more footage than you think you're going to need. Then you're only going to use 5% of all of your footage. Um, which is always hard to make things hit that cutting room floor. Like, I could only imagine the old movies back in the day where they literally were cutting film and these just swaths and piles of footage on the ground that they're like, it's all trash. And that's kind of what this is about, is being brutal about your photography. Brutal with the judgment of your photos. And obviously I'm not talking about all fields. Um, and this 5% rule doesn't apply to all fields. But when it comes to cinematography and photography that you're gonna be using to build your portfolio uh, or anything like that, then the 5% rule really needs to be like an animal. You're an animal. And remember, this is just to pick out candidates for editing. This isn't even the pictures that you're gonna post or to put in the portfolio. These are the ones that you're putting up for consideration to be edited. Our eyes are connected to our brains. So when we're looking at a big scene, we see it way different than a camera's going to see it. And so when you take a picture of it, it looks nothing like what your eyes tell your brain the scene looks like. I mean, like, that's beautiful. You take a picture and it's like, oh, that's not as good. So we're going to go back to July 27th of 2019. So we're going to see some of that kind of thing, as well as some accidental good shots. Um, and I say accidental, we were trying to get good shots, but I, but being uneducated, instead of accidental, it's more of a stumble into taking a good shot. Let's go ahead and have some criteria for looking at others' artwork, much less your own. So I've come up with a list of five things that should help us navigate any kind of visual critique, if you will. So what are these five things that I use to look at any artwork? So we've got subject, layout, depth, triangles, and framing. And obviously you don't need all of these elements in every photo or every piece of art. But if it has some of these elements, you can actually now feel like you know why you are judging a picture the way you're judging it or judging a piece of artwork the way you're judging it. Yeah, so let's take a gander at the shots that we had taken almost two years ago now. So our main subject, the star of the piece, is this lily padded river, a thingy, creek. So then we've got depth. And you get depth usually by having leading lines, having these angles that really pull your eye way back into the distance. So that's a check mark there too. And it's not in the center of the screen either, which is an art thing. You don't want your subject centered. I mean, there's exceptions to every rule. So sometimes, I mean, very rarely, do you want the subject in the very center of your piece? And there is nothing really in the center here that's pulling your eye like that and distracting you from the flow, the depth, the action of the scene. The layout? Layout's okay. Like, it's not great. It's not bad. But there's not a lot of layout going on here. Obviously, you can see triangles in here because of that leading line. And then another triangle here, like when I'm flying through, I see triangles and I know that's a good indicator that this picture has potential and we can look at it a little more intensively. So there's not a lot of framing here, like for the edge of the shot, but there is framing for the subject where we've got the edges of the bank, this brown going on down here really frames the subject, but not the whole scene. Okay, subject, front and center in the screen, not good. The leading lines are okay. They're not really fun. We have a bit of framing. I tried to do framing of the scene, and it was kind of a fail. It's more of a distraction than an addition. And this is one of those cases where your eye seeing something and 
the camera being like, that's not what it looks like for real. That's your brain messing with what you see. This is a beautiful thing, but it's not as picturesque, artful as your brain's telling you it is. What is the subject? I don't know. I mean, we kind of got a little leading line going on over here, but, meh, no triangles. I'm not talking about that stuff, okay? I know the buildings are made of triangles because they make buildings with triangles. But I mean, triangles in the design of what we're looking at. They're not there. There is a bit of framing here, which is nice. If you had a different subject going on in here or something, whatever. But the rest of the picture has nothing going on and we don't have a subject. So, let's go forward. Same thing here. Uh, what's the subject? Who's the star? Nobody, really. It's a nice picture for, like, memories or whatever, but it's no trying. I mean, you've kind of got this indicated triangle with the um, perspective line. Nothing great. Now, this one's actually decent. We've got a nice subject. It's the building. It's the star. It's like somebody's taking a glamour shot from the side of the building. And we've got framing. It's nice. We've got triangles. It's nice. We've got the leading lines from the triangles giving us a bit of depth. Uh, we've got foreground elements, which are really, really nice. That's not on the list because it's not a requirement to be a good shot at all. It's nice when you have some really nice foreground elements. It helps with the depth. So the one thing this picture is not really giving me is layout. It feels a bit disorganized. Feels not well planned in layout, but it ticks the check marks on every single other box but layout. And a picture of the back of me, not, not good. Um, but if I were turned around and facing the camera, this would actually be a great shot, especially if I were a little bit closer, like up here, uh, where these lights are shining through and making this little modeled thing on the fence. Uh, that would actually be a perfect shot because we've got the leading lines for depth. I would be the subject. We would have design, layout, I'm framed, it's framed, what else we got? Triangles, triangles everywhere. Triangles are even out here. So this is close. It ticks a lot of the things, but the subject, it's just my butt. And here's another shot where your brain tells you something's very beautiful, and it is, but it's not an actual picture. It's not a piece of art um, that your brain tries to fool you into thinking that it is. This one's really, really close. If you cropped it like that, it might work, um, but it's a little boring. It's close. This one's way better, super better. Our subject is going off into this distance. This is a little distracting as a competitor for the subject. Who's the star? This is like, I'm the star, and then you've got this other guy like, but I'm cool too, okay? kind of distracting you from this subject. So the layout's actually really nice. It brings us triangles everywhere, which is nice. Depth, we have these leading lines. This is going out from the fore oh, going out from the foreground and giving us that nice depth. It's got a bit of a frame going on, but not not nothing major. One of the things that's really drawing us back from this picture is the fact that we've got this distraction and we've got this building up here on the left, this fence line thing going on, which isn't very pretty. So let's move on. Okay, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We've got a beautiful subject here, beautiful body laying out across, beautiful angles. Subject is, I know it crosses through the center, but it's not in the center. Like the main chunk of it's not in the center. It's really close to us and going off which brings us to depth. We've got depth. Triangles. We've got triangles. Framing. Meh. I feel like these colors and the stuff frames the subject, even though we don't have a full frame around the actual picture. 
but the subject itself feels well laid out, which brings us to design. That lack in framing is made up for in design. This is a great design. Thus far, of all the pictures we've looked at, this is the first one that is up for candidacy to be edited to potentially go into our portfolio. Um, but it's just a candidate. It's not going in the portfolio. It's not getting posted or even edited yet. So here's the same subject again from a different angle. She went way low next to this foreground element here. Wonderful decision. And her subject is laying from outside of our vision and coming into the scene and then extending a little tendril down along the bottom. Great layout, great design. We know who the subject is. The star is the tree. It's gorgeous. Uh, we've got framing down here at the bottom, which is nice because of these, these little grasses and this little bush and these little kind of sticks sticking up give this kind of a feel of framing around the whole picture. A second candidate for actually being edited. Oh, I'm sorry, triangles. There's triangles everywhere. Okie dokie. Obviously our subject is this stalk in the front of us, but it feels like that would be better as a framing than a subject, which it's like, I like the shot. It makes me feel good. But is it worth editing and or posting? Layout, honestly, the foreground elements are beautiful. I love the layout of them. But the rest of the picture, what am I taking a picture of? Who knows? This would have been a nice shot if I had a subject on the other side of these little cattail thingy medoohickers. But let's go ahead and move on. Better. Way better. Obviously, this time, the tree in the swamp is the subject. Uh, and we've utilized these cattail things as framing, foreground elements, which gives us depth. There's triangles everywhere. Layout. Not quite. Layout isn't quite there. The problem here is your center line, your horizon, you don't want to slice your picture in the middle which this feels like it is. Um, a little bit of tweaking on the angle or the height. Um, this could have been worked a little better. So I like the shot, but it's definitely not worth editing. We could give it a wang dang real quick and see if we can get the background to be a little less there and the tree and these cattails to really pop. Uh, but if you can't within like five minutes, abandon. The project immediately okay and just enjoy the fact that you have this picture for yourself to enjoy so subject water i guess so there's no real star of these shots of the water it's pretty water it's a good memory not worth editing or posting in your portfolio so out of all of those shots we are potentially going to edit three and probably only edit and post one or two, if we're lucky. So of all those shots, one or two get posted and go in the portfolio. Trimming the hedges and really making sure that you keep the stuff that you're not just being honeymoonish about, um, that you're a little too attached to. Before we move on to the next set of photos, please like, subscribe, ring the bell, and leave a comment down below letting me know about your photography endeavors. So let's jump forward about a year and look at another shoot that I had done in September of this last year. So like this photo comes really close. Subject wise, not super strong, but it's a nice picture for the rest of the reasons. Layout and design, wonderful. Triangles, we've got them. Depth. We've got it with the lights, with the trees, with the moss, with the whole nine yards. All of that's gorgeous. Okay, the framing of the subject, which is obviously the lights, and which gives us our depth. This is a 9 out of 10. This is a potential post. 
but there's a little bit that's pulling you back because there's no subject really other than those lights being the subject that you're like oh i guess the lights are the subject this one's just as good and as bad for the same reasons uh beautiful framing beautiful layout beautiful design leading lines triangles uh depth depth galore what are we missing subject we don't have a subject in there. Is this editable and postable? Maybe. Same thing with this. Maybe. If we pull it up in the editor and we can turn it into something that's really popping cool, uh, yeah. But if not, in five minutes, abandon ship. So I see what I was going for here, but there's so many competing subjects. What do you do with them? We've got the pole competing with the moon competing with the light, no good. So other than your subjects fighting with each other, we've got some triangles, we've got almost decent depth, uh, not great. Uh, framing, nah, not really. Yeah, okay, move on. So this is one of my favorite shots from that night. Uh, obviously we've got a subject, it's this wall that's right in our face here. It's framed nicely, the whole thing kind of frames itself somehow we've got the leading lines we've got depth triangles there's obviously triangles everywhere this one would probably go in the portfolio for me uh i like it i like it a lot this is another one that i really really enjoy i love the subject leading lines subject everything the one mistake Honestly, there is one mistake here, and that it, everything is going to the center point. Uh, like I had said before, that's something you don't want to do, but there's exceptions, and I think this is one of them. I kind of like the fact that it's going whoosh, right into the center. Hard angle. like It looks like somebody cut the picture in an X, almost. This is a 100% keeper. 100%. Every aspect of it. Um... There's not even too much trash or anything on the shoreline to have to mask out or anything. Uh, yeah. So this is a wonderful one. This one's really close. This one's really, really close. We've got leading lines. Um, and somebody else might like this one more than I do. I like the other two better. And I think that's the problem with this, is by the time I get to this one, I've already seen the other two that I really love, and I'm like, yeah, this one's good, but not as good. Um, it's a little boring. It's close to not being boring. <laughs> but it is still a little boring. But uh, we've got wonderful triangles, wonderful leading lines, wonderful depth. Uh, the subject is, once again, this barricade, and it's really presented well. This is a great candidate too. Uh, sorry about the cigarette. We've got leading lines. We've got the subject, which is obviously me. I'm not too centered. I'm a little, I'm a little too centered, but not too, too centered. Yeah, this is a definite keeper. This is a definite post. Doing selfies out in the world like that is insanely hard. Oh, this is me actually walking out there. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. And what else we got? Oh, we got one more shot. This is a candidate. This is a real candidate. I like this one. We've got depth. We've got subject. It's so not centered. It's so perfectly not centered. Uh, it's got weight. Uh, it's got mystery. What the hell am I looking at? Framing. The subject is framed nice with the, you know, the fencing and then the blue on the other side. It's really good. Triangles, we've got some triangles going on, it's good. Layout, yeah, I like the layout, it's good. Depth, triangles, framing, it's got it all. This is a definite candidate. So having a way more discriminating eye when you are throwing away photos when you're in the field and retaking the shots till they meet these criteria will really change everything. It'll make it so that you will come back with more usable photos and more candidates for actual posting or to go into your portfolio. I hope this list of five criteria help you take better shots 
and to be able to interact with the art world or the photography world or even videography when you're watching movies. These same topics drive everything uh, in every scene you ever see. Uh, so keeping that in mind will help you be a little more open-minded about looking at artwork and movies and things like that that are outside of your normal interest range. But, till next time, stay safe, keep creative, and we'll see you right back here at Kids Quid Studios where it all comes together.